So in this video, we'll talk about shorthand operators. Now what exactly shorthand operators are, so they are the special type of operators you can use for incrementing the value or decrementing the value or something in this way. <clears throat> Sorry. So let's say I have a variable which is i and the value of i is 5. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to just, uh, you know, increment the value of i by 2. So what we do is we say i equal to i plus 2, right? So this is what we do to add the value of i and let's print the value of i here. So if you print the i value of i there, I need to run this, the output is 7, right? Because 5 plus 2 is 7. Now instead of repeating this i value here, what we can do is we can just write this plus before equal to, which simply means i equal to i plus 2. So this is this is how it works, right? So this, this type of statement here, they are called as short uh, shorthands because we are doing shortcuts there, right? So instead of writing i equal to i plus 2, we can simply say i plus equal to 2. We can also do subtraction here. So let's say if I say minus, so it becomes i equal to i minus 2. So the answer for this should be 3. And we are right. We are going, going on, to, on the right path. If I say, if I go for multiplication, so it will be i equal to i into 2. And if I run this, uh, we're getting 10. But let's say uh, if I go with some other value, so let me just go with some different type. So this is the, this is this is working, right? So let me remove this part. And let's say we go, we'll go for byte. So we'll say byte b, uh, initially the value of byte will be 1. Now I want to add, I, sorry, not add, let's say this value is, instead of 1, we'll put it, Eight. Okay, so I will say uh, byte b equal to eight, and I want to multiply this number by two point five. Uh, is it possible? Let's try. If I say b into two point five, and here we go, we are getting error. Okay. What's the error here? So if you go here, it says incompatible types. Okay, so it says when you multiply a byte by a double value it will give you a double value, right? It is implicit convergence. So output for this will be double value and the double value will be 2.5, blah, 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 which be 20. So the answer should be 20, right? 20.0. But hold on, can we store 20.0 in B? Of course we can, right? If, even if you lose the, even if you lose this zero, it will store 20, right? That means what we can do is we can just cast it with byte uh, it's still not working because you cannot convert from double to byte. Do we have any other solution? So what if, what about if I what if, what if I by write something in this way? So after this new line, I will say b into equal to 2.5. Even if you write this thing instead of this, it should give you error, right? Because both are same. Let's try to write this. So b into equal to 2.5. Here we go. We are not getting any error. That means this two line here, they are not same. This is giving you error. This is not. And if you try to print the value of B now, and if you run this, the answer is 20. Okay, so this is not same. It's because whenever you multiply directly, it will actually go for the act the whole value. So the type will be the whole value. But in case of uh, the uh, shorthand, what it goes for, let's say we have E1 and a uh, operator, which is your plus operator in this, uh, multiplication operator in this scenario, and you have E2, the answer will be always for E1, or the type will be always for E1. So in this scenario, your expression goes in this way. It is B into 2.5, so multiplication is the operator here, b is expression 1, and 2.5 is expression 2. So the type of the answer will be the first one. So type goes with e1. Cool. So the answer type will be e1. And that's, so that's, how, that's the difference between your shorthand and the assignment or normal operators. Cool. So that's all about your shorthands. Uh, so thanks for watching and do subscribe for the further videos.